Hello and welcome to my first dual analysis video. I've been doing some replays and just posting them, but I think it's a little bit more beneficial, especially to older players that are coming back into the game, like myself, kind of. I kind of kept up with it, but not exactly. But it's also just beneficial to like know why or how or what current decks or even fan favorite decks are doing or how you use them. So really quick, it is turn two. They skip their turn. Now, I wasn't thinking. I was like, wait, why did they skip their turn? I chose for them to go second, or for me to go second. I wanted them to go first because, you know, Cyber Dragon's just a little bit better going second. Okay, whatever, they skipped. And I didn't realize, as soon as I put down Cyber Emergency, I was like, wait, what if they're also playing Cyber Dragons? And I was like, well, you know what? I'm just going to go for it because at this point in time, I don't know, but there's really nothing else I can do at this point, so... I just went for it. So, right here, I go ahead and I throw in, I throw my Cyber Dragon core to the field. Really quick, that gets you a Cyber Dragon spell or trap card to your hand from your deck. And then I special summon Naxter by discarding a Cyber, um, a card from my hand, and that was Hertz. So Hertz goes to the grave, which also it will activate an effect to give me a Cyber Dragon card monster from deck to hand when it gets sent to the grave. And then I use my two low level monsters to link into Cyber Dragon Seeger. Cyber Dragon Seeger just requires two machine monsters, including Cyber Dragon in their card name. And then it becomes a Cyber Dragon while it's on the field. And the reason why I went into this is because I can raise its attack by 2100. Yes, no battle damage is taken when this effect is activated on this monster. Or the mon this monster won't deal battle damage regardless of who I give that power to but because he's the only monster on the field obviously he would go to him so this is kind of like protection just in case but i still have this lingering thought that cyber dragon is in my future which means i'm probably about to lose this because if you're playing a machine deck you are most likely going to lose to cyber dragon not 100 percent, but most likely just because they can use all your monsters against you so right here I see, okay, Twin Twisters, lim Limiter Removal. I was like, oh gosh, Future Fusion. I was like, uh, and then here you go. You just see it immediately. So they go ahead and summon out their Cyber, or Chimera Tech, sorry. Chimera, uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, which is pretty good. You can't use it a fusion. So it's actually protected against me doing that against them now. Because if I were to summon Sp uh, Cyber Dragon, I can't use this card as a fusion summon for my own Fortress Dragon because this card can't be used for fusion summons. So I go ahead and I'm like, okay, well, that sucks. Let's go ahead and use Cyber Emergency again. Let's get a card to my field. Since they have a card on their side of the field, I'll be able to special summon my Cyber Dragon. And when I normal summon Dre to the field, or Dry, whatever it's called, I can make all, when it's normal summon, I can make all Cyber Dragon monsters on my side of the field level five, which will put them both at level five. Then I'm activating Core in my graveyard because I can do it when I have no um, monsters on the field. I could then um, special summon a Cyber Dragon for my deck. So I get Naxter, which lets me special summon a Cyber Dragon monster of 2100 attack or defense in my graveyard. So Seeger's coming back out. That gives me some bonus power. Then I'm summoning Dre. And because I normal, uh, I special summon uh, Naxter and put out Seeger, I was no longer able to special summon my Cyber Dragon. But because Dre um, brings any Cyber Dragon on the field to level 5, I'm able to then special summon my Cyber Dragon Nova, which was originally just two level five Cyber Dragon monsters. After special summoning Cyber Dragon Nova, Infinity can be special summoned once per turn, and that's, um, sorry, it's still equipped it. Cyber Dragon Nova, and then Infinity can be special summoned off of Nova, just Nova alone. And then any attack position monster my opponent currently controls, as long as I can target it, I can use and bring under my Infinity as material. And once per turn, Infinity can negate anything by discarding a material. So it's an Omni negate, but only once per turn, sadly. And then I still have Seeger on the field. And I put Drowning Mirror Force face down, because if they do get a direct attack in, because they could still take my monsters with a Cyber Dragon and summon their next Chimera Tech Over Dragon, then I have that to bring, like, you know, push them back again. Now, I could have activated Seeger's ability to raise up Infinity, but there's no difference to increasing this to 5,000 or attacking for 5,000 total. So, unfortunately, that's just how it's going to go. 
like I said, if I use the ability, then his battle damage becomes zero for the turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. So now we see Future Fusion being activated. Okay, I'm going to go for my, his, um, the other, shoot, the Overdragon. I can't remember what it's called right now. But basically, they can attack as for as many materials, uh, up to the monsters for as many materials as you use. Also, he threw everything to the grave. Now, what happens here is he's special summoned to Cyber Dragon. He can use any machine type monster on the field and take it for his special summon of his monster right here, which he did again. So that means he had at least he was at least playing two. And then he normal summons his Cyber Dragon Core, which is now giving him a Cyber Dragon Speller Trap, which he chose Cyber Emergency, which lets him search his deck for a Cyber Dragon Monster. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, which gives them their Naxter. Once again, Naxter could be special summoned by discarding a monster from hand, or then you could bring back a 2100 monster from the graveyard to your field. So that's where my trap card came into play. Direct attacks, bounce everything back to the deck. So now it's my turn. 900 attack points left. Let's go ahead and just bring out my monster. I don't know what they have face down. So the great thing about, and let's pause it here. The great thing about Cyber Load Fusion is it targets my remove from play cards, which I purposely removed core from play to activate its ability to bring a Cyber Dragon monster from my deck to field when I had no monsters on the field. So I removed it from play. So anything face up on the field or remove from play face up can be used as material for a fusion summon and those get sent back to the deck. And then I went for my Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Now Rampage Dragon, once summoned, can destroy up to as many spell and trap cards in the field as materials. That's why it's two plus Cyber Dragon monsters. So two is all I needed to destroy these two, which there's my biggest worry right here and whatever this is, but because this is probably the last turn, it really doesn't matter as long as I can get around this and whatever's in hand. And then it's a second ability is I can remove up to two, what was it, light machine monsters? Yeah, two light machine monsters from my deck put him to the grave, and I could attack two more times, or one more time if only do it once. This is a potential 6,300 damage, but obviously they only have 900. So we go ahead and destroy the cards, Mirror Force, which could have been a big issue, and then I go to attack, but they then surrender. So that's game. Here's a quick look of the opponent's deck. Did you like the video? If you did, smash that like button. I appreciate any and all help and support. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. Comment below the decks you'd want to see me face. Or maybe if you want me to try certain cards in my Cyber Dragon deck. I'll explain how or why in the video and maybe try to find another duelist to duel against using those cards. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.